All right, this is our kind of semi on the spur of a moment. We're going to do a video of installing the Switch Pros SP8100. And uh, this is Greg and Jeff from the High Sierra 4x4 podcast. And uh, this is our Switch Pros. We got it laid out right here with some basic tools, some some instructions and stuff so we can see how we're doing this thing. Um, basically, this is the con whole entire control module underneath the uh, underneath the um, engine compartment that's going to run all the accessories. They just plug right out of there. We have that right here with our our plug and then all the accessory wires, our ignition wire, accessory wire, battery, cable. Um, it's a pretty neat kit what we looked at so far. This is uh, the switch panel right here. If you guys haven't seen that there's eight switches on this accessory um, single wire plug-in through the cab that gives you different options apparently and um, you, it comes pre uh, with pre pre done stickers that shows just different different things accessories that you can put on there different things you have you can pretty much make it to whatever you want so anyways what we just started doing is, I've already mounted this, step one and two, I mounted this to the plate and I'm getting ready to uh, install it under the hood. I've gone ahead and disconnected the negative, Ooh, the sun's bright, negative on the battery and I tucked it up out of, out of the way here. I unhooked the wires that we had already, so that's out of the way. And uh, next step is to undo the wiring right here off of these two studs so we can mount that plate right there underneath under up to the battery and then reinstall this back over the top of it so we'll see that in a minute so you just pull the harness off with these plastic tabs on the back right here revealing these two studs you see the studs in there and then uh this plate simply slides into these outer edges onto the studs and then this these bolts here that we put in will be the new studs for the wiring harness to grab onto. So it goes on like that. And then they cut provided nuts. We'll then attach over there, nylon nuts, to hold that bracket on the back. And then I left my wrench over on the table. <laughs> As you can tell, this is a pretty impressive, clean little install here. Nothing, nothing massive underneath the hood on the firewall. Keeps it nice and clean, I, I like it. Greg and I were just commenting about it. Okay, so we went and had and tied the accessory wire into, what'd you say it was, the C6? C6. C6, so this is, we pulled the box out, undoing the four tabs. We pulled the plug off the bottom, which is very difficult to do. <laughs> but uh, I think it's a much cleaner install to put the wire in this way. So then we removed the wire cover, put the blue wire in, resecured it just like the direction said. So following that. And then now I'm plugging this back in. Back into the bottom of the box, locking it back in place like so, and then reinstalling this guy back down on the tabs until it locks in. And there's our wire for our accessories now. And we will be tying that into this blue wire, cleaning it up a little bit. So, so I ran the blue and yellow wire into a sleeve and I ran the sleeve around and back along the, the side of the fender in here underneath and then I came out and I teed out the blue line with their uh, supplied butt connector and butt connected it into the wire that we had plugged into the plug. So that's that and then the yellow wire we ran up and tied into the fender light just like the instructions said. And that's all tucking this right back down up in here. So we got, all right, we're jumping around a little bit here but I just pulled the uh, piece of trim with the two, the two mirror supports out for over we're going to hang the bracket right there i just drilled a couple holes uh, we've got it tilted to go in line with the mirror 
um, secured it with the two nuts provided in the the case and so we're going to install this back into the Jeep right now there's Greg playing around on his phone no <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so this is what it looks like. We took down the trim in the middle, just the uh, two, two corner pieces and then the trim in the middle uh, so we could hang the wire and run the wiring down the driver's side and out to the plug. So I'll show you once I get it back together. <laughs> you were going to get try to get me working? <laughs> Go for it. <laughs> oh, this is good to be cool here. So... <laughs> we just snapped that piece back up there uh, it went straight back up we just attached the switch panel to that it's in line with the mirror it's in perfect I think it I think it looks pretty good what do you think Greg yeah you like it <laughs> so anyways the wire is now hanging out here we're gonna run it down the shoulder so and then the back side it runs just straight in oops it was supposed to run <laughs> straight in line with the uh, with the power mirror in We'll, we'll push it up in there so but anyways i think it looks pretty good so we'll go ahead and put the mirrors in the corners back up and run the wire down and and then run it through the firewall which we haven't done yet so all right all right we're attempting to put all the trim back in place jeff's over there uh pretending like he works for factory jeep or chrysler but other than that just have one other side left to go and there's the switch panel in the center <laughs> What's that? I said the screw hole didn't line up. All right, so we just finished putting all the trim back up. I know I'm doing this video in little sections as I do things because Greg won't hold the camera, but whatever. So all the trim's back up. I got the wire running down. And then I took the side panel off the dash here. And this is the plug right here. So we're going to go ahead and run the plug in from the, the engine compartment um, into the driver's side, just like the direction said, as soon as we get that the plug the feeder plug pulled off and pushed through and then we'll hook that up plug that in and it'll be the plug will be accessible behind the uh that panel right there so all right on to the next step okay so we took the the plug wire and i got it just laying across the engine right now we're gonna attach it to the wiring harness on the back of the uh firewall but uh for now it's just laying across the engine it'll get zip tied to that and then we ran it through. If you can see, that's the pass out, pass through. The grommet's out of there right now. I'm gonna put the grommet back. Um, it's the same one that the uh, that the uh, windshield wash washer fluid for the rear window goes through into the uh, cab. So easy to find. And I just basically what I did is I took the grommet, took it and cut it cut it along one side so I could take it out. And then we'll clamp it around the wires, push it back in, and it will be one piece again. So. I made it a little hole a little bigger there. It's a little squared out on one side for the wires to fit through. So I'm gonna put that back in right now. And then as I come around the door through the panel, where Greg is, there are the two plugs right there. We're gonna plug them together. And then they will be, they'll be right inside that panel right there. So it all worked out really well. All right, so we're done for now. We've got extra wiring wrapped right up there next to the battery so that we can add all our accessories as they come in. We've zip tied the wire along that back uh, channel so it's all out of the way. Everything's buttoned up, nothing's gonna get damaged and it's all put away nicely. And then uh, we've completely finished the interior, putting it back together. And then he's got the light bar. So far he only has two of the of the plugs done uh, the sun's coming in kind of bright but anyways there it is mounted up there above the uh, the mirror